My name is Ben, um, I am 24 years old and I work as a freelance writer, director and editor. I grew up in West Australia and Hayes. I grew up in, in and around council houses and council estates. Um, I went to high school, I failed my GCSEs. Um, I wanted to be in film, but I really didn't know how and I couldn't do my A-levels in media. So, you know, it, I ended up doing college courses in theatre and stuff. And, you know, one thing led to another and then I kind of fell into doing a film course at Uxbridge College. Um, and then from there, I just kind of found work, really. I didn't have any other plans. Like, I always knew I wanted to do film. Um, I mean, I had, like, I wish I could do other things because film's really difficult and it's really competitive and, you know, it, I would like, a, like, an easier type of work, but none of, none of it really, like, makes me happy. So, you know, I have to kind of go for it. And I, I love it. Even though, like, it can get really stressful or the hours can be really long, you know, I love every second of it and I wouldn't change it. Um, but no, I couldn't say that I want to do anything else in my life. So, I, like, when you're a kid, you know, you have those really big dreams of yours. And, you know, mine was you know, being a director and, you know, I went into film thinking, yeah, that's what I want to do. And then I got into it and I realised how much work it is. Um, but the passion never really died for me. I realised very quickly that, you know, to be a good director, you need to have good knowledge of all the different aspects of filmmaking, not just, you know, what's going on in front of the camera or what's going on behind it as well. And so, you know, I experimented with everything and, you know, some things I was better at than others. And it just so happened that, you know, the things that I was good at was writing. I really enjoyed creative writing. When I first started to learn editing in my first year, I hated it. Like, I was awful at it. And my teacher, um, she would constantly tell me that, you know, just don't give up, keep trying, da, 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 da. and I was like, no, seriously, I will never get it, and I, will, and I used to just have, like, arguments with her all the time, and, you know, it got to the end of the unit, and she was like, you did really well, and you've done a really good job, and I was like, no way, <laughs> that's really weird. I think living London definitely impacted my career choices, 100%, because I live so close to so many amazing film studios. You know, I have West London Film Studios, which is my closest one, um, and the place where I work. The film industry, especially around my area, is really big. And yeah, I can't, like, it, it, it's a coincidence because obviously I am passionate about film, but I'm so glad and I feel really grateful that I am close. Um, I'd hopefully like to be doing international adverts as well. I've already started doing stuff for European companies. I've done a few stuff for you know, a couple companies in the US, um, but I would like to start, you know, branching out and making that more of my everyday because then if that happens then I can I literally get work from anywhere in the world and I can just do it at home on the comfort of my sofa and that's just winning at life right so click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.